We have a lot coming up here this weekend as we lead into both All Out 4 in Chicago and WWE's Clash at the Castle taking place in Cardiff, Wales. There is, as well, once we hit Sunday, right before All Out, NXT Worlds Collide. That is going to be taking place. And we have a little bit of NXT news to begin uh, the the show here. Uh, It's not really NXT news, but it does involve a former NXT wrestler, Santana Garrett, has returned to WWE. And this is up on the front page of the website right now, although I'm not looking at it. Uh, since the show started, so it may have changed because a little birdie has told me that she uh, is back at the PC just as a guest trainer. She is not back full-time as the article uh, has made it look. Uh, Garrett, on her Instagram stories on Monday, spoke about the role and said she was helping a uh, class with new hires, so it's going to be... Garrett had been there for a while. She was part of the 2017 May Young Classic. She signed uh, full-time with WWE in 2019. She was a regular on NXT. She wrestled on one episode of Raw and was a part of the 2021 Women's Royal Rumble, but then that was pretty much it for her. She ended up going to AEW and, and working a couple of shows down there. In fact, the front page article said it was four, so... Uh, she's just back as a guest trainer for now, but we've seen plenty of people uh, who have been part of NXT in the past make their way back. So if this goes successfully for her and everybody is happy, she may get called back again. And who knows, maybe she gets called back for a full-time role coming up soon. Two full-time wrestlers that a lot of people would like to see back in the ring are Naomi and Sasha Banks. And apparently there was a whole bunch of furor cause when they were added back to the active page of WWE talent. I cannot uh, confirm that firsthand as I rarely like to navigate the WWE.com website. But their return to the company has been speculated on now for quite some time. And as we come to the end of the very jinxed WWE Women's Tag Team Championship Tournament, I have a feeling that once we see the finals... We may see Naomi and Sasha Banks doing a challenge. And on paper, if your champions happen to be EO Sky and Dakota Kai, matches against Naomi and Sasha Banks may get as close to stardom stuff as we can get in this country. They ought to be fantastic uh, together. So that's at least the direction that I'm hoping that they're going. It, It certainly would seem to be the case if Naomi and Sasha are coming back because you can go with with those for for quite some time, probably right into uh, Survivor Series. I know we have WWE Extreme Rules is going to be coming up as well, too, but I have a feeling because of the participants involved, as well as Bailey being in there, too, we could be seeing tag team matches and six-woman matches going right into Survivor Series if you wanted to. That's, that's one of the best things. If there's a silver lining in the cloud that happened with Naomi and Sasha... And this whole deal with Vince McMahon is, I don't know if they happen to fall into line together or what, but if Naomi and Sasha come back, look, the Women's Tag Team Championship since then has been a, I want to say a comedy of errors, but they're, they were they going to shelve it? Okay, are we going to bring it back? We're going to bring it back. We're going to have a tournament for it. They kind of made an decision having... Again, Nikita Lyons and and Zoe Stark, although I I kind of understood what they were doing there, trying to give them some shine on national TV. That ends up not coming to pass. Toxic Attraction comes up. They get hurt. The matches themselves haven't exactly been anything to write home about. So, you know, when this whole thing finally shakes out and falls, you know, frankly, Naomi and Sasha coming back to rile up the new champions and to take their shot at them will probably make everybody forget about how forgettable that turn has been Samoa Joe's name has been speculated on for quite some time as to where is he what is going on what is happening is he upset does he not want to be uh, involved with Ring of Honor as the TV champion why is he not on AEW Dynamite what is happening with Samoa Joe 
Well, we have our answer. Samoa Joe has been filming a TV show. Uh, in June, it was announced that Joe had signed on the right, the right, signed on to play the role of Sweet Tooth in the Peacock live-action adaptation of the video game Twisted Metal. On Saturday, the show's showrunner tweeted that the filming had all wrapped up. And that's where Joe had been. Uh, he suffered a shoulder line, a uh, storyline shoulder injury at the hands of Jay Lethal, Satnam Singh, and Sanjay Dutt uh, after ROH's July Death Before Dishonor pay per view, where Joe had de- defeated Lethal in a title defense. So now he is back. He was in the Owen Hart tournament. He's only wrestled seven matches since the Owen Hart tournament for AEW, but. His presence will be welcomed back, not only, obviously, for Ring of Honor and anything that they plan on doing, but just his name value on AEW Dynamite and on Rampage. The, the Rampage, and I guess I can blast through it real quick before this segment ends, because there's not really a whole lot to talk about with it. It was a, a solid show. It was not spectacular. I'm not sure that if you were already dead set on watching your Major League Baseball pennant race game or your NFL preseason game, that there was anything that was going to be on this show that didn't have you going back to watch it on the DVR a little bit later on or or, or maybe even just skipping it all together. Uh, the, 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 I thought, again, I don't know how, how banged up Malachi Black is, and I assume that they're telling a story where Hangman Page is going to take the place of 10 in this trios tournament, but if that is not going to be the case, uh, you should have had the House of Black win this thing. But Malachi Black had a knee bar on 10 when Miro's Rams horn hit. He ended up coming out. Buddy and Brody went to go after him. That allowed Alex Reynolds to get a roll-up on Malachi for the pin. After the match, Miro got into the ring. He was jumped by everybody. Malachi spin-kicked him, and the House of Black was able to put the boots to him for a little bit before Sting and Darby Allin made the save, which has been setting up, or does set up, something that has been long rumored. That six-man match between the House of Black, Sting, Darby, and Miro for the pay-per-view uh, Wardlow destroyed Ryan Nemeth. No surprise there. They are teasing dissension continued between the Andrade family office and private party. Powerhouse Hobbs killed a guy named Ashton Day. Jade Cargill and Athena had a short pull apart in the, in the back. It, it seems as if Cargill has fired Layla Gray out of the baddies by just telling her to to get out basically <laughs> and having Kira Hogan take her to the trash uh that was that was that Sammy and Tay against uh, or Sammy and Ty Mello against Ortiz and Ruby Soho it, it was okay there was some weird editing at the end of the match double jump cutter by Sammy ended up getting the victory and then in the main event uh, ROH Heavyweight Championship, Claudio Castagnoli defeated Dustin Rhodes. Old school finish where uh, Dustin jumped up or ducked underneath Claudio and uh, hit, uh, slammed his head in his crotch, and uh, that allowed Claudio to get the victory. Sangha versus Lee stands on Lee's chest when she's down, bangs her, uh, her on the apron, pull, um. puts elbow on her chin through... Her out of the ring. You know, it doesn't really matter a lot in 2022, Granny, but uh, no. Lee, in fact, identifies as a man. <laughs> Legend versus woman. Perez. That was another NXT. Can you believe the little guy beat him? He beat Legend. Again, a little I... guy? It's now more... Roxanne Perez is a man? Yeah. Roxanne. No, no, these were two women. <laughs> you got to be kidding me, Granny. you got to be kidding me today. God. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.